Welcome to Iron Hand Tech. Today, let's dive into the detailed and specific process of large-scale steel recycling, from collecting and sorting to the final steel product. Without wasting any time, let's get started. We're at a large-scale steel recycling plant. Before arriving here, these scrap steel pieces have been through a long journey. Let's explore that journey first. Scrap steel is collected from everywhere and brought to this facility, including old cars, broken household appliances, and construction debris. To meet the input material requirements, the steel must first be sorted. Sorting scrap steel is a crucial step that directly affects the quality of the final product, as each type of scrap varies in shape, size, and level of contamination. These giant iron hands grab the scrap steel and place it into a hydraulic press. Only larger scrap needs to go through this stage. The scrap is fed into a press chamber, where a large piston compresses the metal pieces together. With hundreds of tons of pressure, this machine quickly turns large scrap pieces or even cars into steel loaves. After sorting, the scrap steel pieces are moved to the cutting and shredding area. For large, long, or complex shaped steel pieces, we need to cut them into smaller sizes to process them easily in the next steps. The scrap is fed into the cutting machine slot. The blade moves up and down, cutting the steel into smaller pieces, usually 20 to 50 centimeters long. Some large scrap steel may be shredded before being sent to the recycling plant. Now let's return to the recycling plant. A giant electromagnet grabs and drops the scrap steel into massive steel buckets. From there, they're loaded into an electric arc furnace. This steel bucket weighs 60 tons and holds 110 tons of scrap steel inside. The electrodes are lowered near the surface of the scrap. A powerful current, often reaching 800 volts, passes through carbon electrodes, creating an electric arc. A superheated plasma flame that can reach up to 3,500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt the steel quickly. During melting, elements like silicon and manganese react with oxygen to form oxides, while sulfur and phosphorus are oxidized into unwanted compounds. These compounds combine with lime additives to form slag. Now it's time to remove the slag. The slag is then cooled, crushed, and reused in other industries, such as cement production, road construction, or even as building materials.
the molten steel is transferred to the refining furnace. It's like a mobile laboratory where the molten steel is further treated to remove gases such as hydrogen and nitrogen. Compounds like calcium, silicon are added to deoxidize the steel, achieving optimal clarity and purity. Now that we have quality molten steel, it is poured into special molds and shaped. In the continuous casting process, the molten steel is poured through a cooled copper mold to form a solid billet continuously. Rollers pull the billet out of the mold. These steel bars are further heated to 1,270 degrees Celsius to prepare for the hot rolling process. Mild steel bars are passed through pairs of large rollers to press and pull the billet through many times. After each pass, the steel billet reduces its thickness and shapes the product. This process is repeated many times until the steel reaches the desired specifications. Now the finished steel bars are gradually cooled with water and air. Proper cooling is key to creating steel with the best mechanical properties. After cooling, they are shaped and sent to the final stage, cutting the finished product. They are cut using specialized steel cutting machines, and we have the finished steel bars ready to be used in construction projects. Steel recycling not only saves resources, but also reduces the negative impact on the environment. Every ton of recycled steel saves 1.5 tons of iron ore, 0.5 tons of coal, 
and reduces 1.2 tons of CO2 emissions. That's why steel recycling is and will continue to be a sustainable trend in the steel industry. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it interesting and useful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to not miss other exciting videos. For now, goodbye and see you in the next videos.